Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. This is the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Writer Dick D. Bartolo, episode 1416, recorded May 14th, 2013. The Great Laxby. The Gizwiz is brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audible.com slash gizwiz. And by Tonks Coffee. Tonks offers a bi-weekly subscription, sourcing their beans directly from the growers. They're roasted and shipped within 24 hours, giving you the freshest coffee beans in the world. For a free sample, visit tonks.org slash gizwiz, T-O-N-X dot org slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. Break out your Allen wrenches, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Gizwiz. It's the same show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. 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 Right now. Gizwiz time. Oh, my God. With apologies to David Letterman. <laughs> right to the end. Wait a minute. Are we going to get pulled from YouTube for using yes! a thrill cam? Because we stole the idea. <gasps> oh. Shame on us. And you said Letterman. You can't say any famous people. <laughs> I can get this show pulled from YouTube so easy, so fast, I, but I'm not going to do it. But I know exactly how to do it. It's easy. I, if I've, I, I, can, I am the king of getting shows pulled off YouTube. Guess what just got pulled off YouTube? This week in YouTube, a show we do about YouTube has been pulled twice now, and they locked the account. You know why? Because we show YouTube clips. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm better. Dick, we're going to do something a little differently. You know that normally I'll let you do three gadgets, and yes. then I do a gadget. But today, because my gadget is going to, it has, says some assembly required... Oh, okay. You're going to talk about I, it first? I need to start because I'm going to be assembling it throughout the show. <laughs> oh, you personally going to be assembling it? Well, it's kind of a challenge. Jeffrey okay. Needles are uh, wonderful. What is your title now? Man About Town. Uh, right. has, uh, and I have been having a little battle because I bought some stuff at Ikea. And <laughs> Man About Town. Jeffrey Needles, Man About Town. Uh, and I, uh, I said I'm never again buying crap from Ikea because guess what? It comes in these flat packs and you oh, yeah. have to put it together. You, not me, you. Yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I bought two bedroom sets and an office suite from Ikea eight months ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did hire somebody to assemble it. And, and the bedroom set suites have been assembled and they're quite nice. In fact, okay. my daughter, Abby, stayed in one last night, and she said, love the bad dad. But okay. the office desk was missing two fundamental pieces, the desk part. The feet were great, but there was no desk part. <laughs> so I never got around to going to Ikea and saying, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm a little bit of a shrinking violet. I am not one who demands of people. I just like to be served Without any effort on my part, so I didn't. I didn't. Jeff said, "Oh, just you go to Google, go to IKEA, and uh, you go in the back way, and you say, hey, I didn't get these two parts.'" And they say, "Yeah, here they are. Here, they and they give them to you, and you go home, and then you finish the assembly." Anyway, the whole thing is a terrible nightmare experience, and they put horse meat in the meatballs. So that's it. <laughs> Actually, I hear huh? that they don't do that yeah. in the U.S. Oh, well, not they in should. The US. Okay, okay. Right. There's nothing wrong with horse meat. It's just, a, you know, look it. Meat is meat. I just want to say this. This is a little tangent. Meat is meat. Okay, yeah. You're a vegetarian. You don't eat any meat. 
No, I'm not a vegetarian. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, okay. Forget I said anything. Okay. I'm just saying somebody who eats meat really has no position to say, well, I'll eat that kind of meat, but not that kind of meat. I'll kill that kind of animal, but not that kind of animal. It's a horse, it's a dog, it's meat, it's meat. Am I, you know what I'm, you, you feel yeah. me, bro? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Did you just I, bro? I don't eat dogs. <laughs> I was just going to say, someone please cover Ozzy's ears. <laughs> and that's going to take a lot of padding to cover those ears. In any event. I don't eat Swedish meatballs at Ikea, but that's another story. Okay. So uh, we're going to, so so I have a bet with Jeff Needles. Jeff Needles says it's easy. And not only that, he says he cited research by Dan Ariely, the author of Predictably Irrational, that says if you build your own furniture, you love it more. Because you okay. because you put some sweat equity into it. So this consider this as a, as a kind of an experiment, Dick. I'm going to build whatever the hell this is. Can okay. you tell from the box? Mm, a file cabinet? I have no idea. <laughs> I am going to build this during the show. And then I'm going to see if I love it more. Oh, okay. Consider okay. this an experiment. Now, did you get the, before this Ikea rant and uh, the uh, horse meat in the meatballs, <laughs> you already have the top of your desk, right? <laughs> because you're not getting one after this. <laughs> you no. do have all the parts. No, You I don't gave have up. the parts you need? I gave up. I bought another kind of desk, which actually I should really make a Gizwiz pick because it's fabulous. Uh, okay. It was a little more expensive. The reason people go to Ikea because it's like 100 bucks. Yeah. This is $15. Right? Stuff's cheap. My desk was 200 bucks. I got a Galant. Are you serious? A Galant desk. What they don't mention is it costs you $500 to hire somebody to put it together. So uh, so if you're really cheap, you put it together yourself. Okay. And, uh, and, you know, it's for students. It's for people starting out in life. Someday I will start out in life. But until then, I'm just going to have furniture that comes assembled. But I bought a desk that has a motor in it. It's a standing desk or a sitting what? desk. You push a button and it goes... Yeah, it's called the up desk. I love it. I'll do this an, another time. But this is not. This is not. You couldn't get that at IKEA, right? No, you can't get that at IKEA. So I got oh. it, and I built it, Jeff. And you know what? I do love it. I screwed in the little pieces, and I put the things in it. It's got a motor. I put the whole thing together. It wasn't. It took me an hour. It was very easy. It wasn't like IKEA style. Anyway, so I feel bold, emboldened now, having built that up desk, and I will make that a pick another time, that I can build whatever the hell is in this. Okay, you know, I think it's a pencil box. <laughs> It's for really big pencils. So, wait a minute. Yeah. Now, Jeff, there's a picture, he says. There's a picture. <laughs> there's the picture. The picture is lac. It is a lac table. See that? If I do oh, this correctly, a lac table. Oh, that's good. what it's going to look like. A lac table. Nice. Okay. You, you know what? To me... Didn't they have it in height? It the, only came in lack? The name tells me is there will be pieces missing. There will be a lack of something. All right. So here's... Uh, here's oh, this is unique. Some sort of odd double-headed screw. There's no there's no top. There's just... Which, which begs the question, what the hell do you screw it with? Okay, don't show me. No. I'm supposed <laughs> to figure it out. I'm supposed to figure... Oh, look, there's a picture. That's... That's all of the instructions. You, you want to you wanna see the instructions? Yeah. Oh, my word. One of the things IKEA is famous for is instructions that have no text because it's an international company. So there you have it. Whatever it is, don't do that. Oh, yeah. Don't. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Okay. Don't sit on it? Sit on it. Okay. It's not a car. But it's okay to use it as a scooter. <laughs> yeah. That's, that makes but sense. don't sit on it. <laughs> I, it's uh -huh. very puzzling to me. I don't understand what this is. And I'm worried because it says whatever it is, I know I'm not supposed to do that, and I can't tell what it is. So well, whatever you, you it is. You can already see why the screws have no head. <laughs> yes. Neither does the guy. All right. Yeah. So that's the instructions okay. I'm working from, Jeff. Okay. All right. I'm going to prop these up on my instruction easel, my okay. IKEA brand instruction easel. Now I'm going to remove from this. Uh, why did you pick this one? Because it was the easiest thing to make. He admits it. There's the, he said, nobody can make a mistake with this. There's this. This thing, okay, this looks like it's made out of wood. It might be it's made fiber. out of tissue. Here, here, catch. That weighs nothing. It weighs nothing. Woo! No. <laughs> Matt, maybe that's what that meant. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, so I have allocated an entire show to assemblists. During the program, we will continue the assembly portion of the wow, show. Wow, this is going to be very exciting. <laughs>
because I have no idea what it's going to look like with the four legs at the top. Leo, you are the wood whisperer. <laughs> it will be a surprise. <laughs> wow. Don't show me any more because no, I no. think I'm getting... No, I'm sort of yeah. getting an idea of what it could be. Yeah, and I will not use power tools, right? You're not supposed to. You don't need to. Oh, no power tools. It's all and done with Allen get, wrenches. Yeah. And, and uh, don't bring water near it or it'll <laughs> dissolve. All right, while I am uh, starting to assemble this fine thing, whatever this is, the pencil box... Okay. Will you give us your first? Would wow, you give us? I think that that was what it was said not to do. Something was made out of something. <laughs> will you give us your first gadget of the uh, week? I will. Okay, so I was out at the National Hardware Show, so oh, I'm going to perfect. Uh, two videos this week, and uh, at first I thought it was a joke because Dennis was roaming the aisles, and he said, "There's a guy over there called Big John." Big John. Who makes toilet seats for people with big personalities? <laughs> yeah. I get it, Big John. Yeah, right, yeah, right. So I went over, and he's very serious, and he has a good use for his product. So here's video number one. Big John. Vicky Bartolo, man's made us try to end the Gizwiz. We're still at National Hardware Show 2013. I come upon a booth called Big John, big and John. I see a big toilet seat oh, and i find a man named big john <laughs> oh so big God. john what in the world <laughs> Look at is the size this of that. Yes. this is the most inexpensive way to retrofit your bathroom <laughs> one product installs the minutes makes the bathroom more accessible no more muffin tops. basically it's a toilet seat it's two and a half inches taller 75 percent wider has a 1200 pound capacity that's what i need stainless steel hinge that will never break Never's a big word, but our hinge will never break. I have a grip rail all the way around it as well, and when I lower it down, it becomes non-slip for weight transfer, even when it's loose. And, and John, what, what is the use for this? Is it for big bones people or people who have eaten too much? Or what, 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 why did you do this? A couple of reasons. The seat itself has a 1,200-pound capacity, so it's not going to bend or break. A. B. Anyone from a walker, a wheelchair, a cane or crutch, hip or knee replacement, or just needs huh? more help Point. in the restroom, this is an alternative. It's easy, it's quick, and it's simple, and everyone in the whole house can use it. That sounds really good. And the price point on this and the availability? Uh, price is anywhere. Oh, sorry. The price point is $120 plus minus on the website, so you can see it for a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, it's made in America. It'll be the last seat you'll ever want to own. And, uh, uh, it's available now or soon? It's currently available from HomeDepot.com, uh, Lowe's.com, any of the local retailers. Uh, if you just Google the word Big John, you'll get 50-plus companies all dying to sell it to you. This is really great. So Big John toilet seat. Uh, Dick D. Bartolo, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a use for it just yet, but uh, we're going out and having some dinner. I might need one later on. Uh, at the National Hardware Show, we're going to find more stuff. Bye. I think that's great because you know what I hate is when you're sitting on a seat and you are and, and you go over the edge. It just feels well, weird. You know, Leo, this could be a money-saving thing for you as an employer. Yes. Because with a 1,200-pound seat capacity... Four or five of the staff members could, could go at the same yeah at the same time. Really, you know, when he said this is like the best upgrade you could do for a bathroom, I wasn't. Now I understand what he's saying. This upgrades the capacity of the bathroom. Yeah, brilliant. Exa exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, our employees, you know, they weigh about a hundred pounds. That means I get twelve of them. Twelve of them at on one, one time. At one yeah. time. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So there you go. So that's a uh, big John toilet seat dot. Calm. I once broke a toilet seat. It's not a happy thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, we, we were in France. The French <laughs> toilet seats are notoriously flimsy. At least oh, that's because my they're story. from French models. <laughs> <laughs> we we had the, the family had rented a, a place, a house, an apartment, and we got there the first day, and um, the seat I sat on it and it broke, and my kids gave me uh, trouble about that. For they still do. Actually, <laughs> so I know what you're getting for Father's yeah. Day. <laughs> okay, Jeff, I'm having a little trouble. How? What do you mean how? Look, it says on here. It's very apparent. Turn that in by hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just turn this in by. It's a, it is. It hurts. It doesn't go. That's it. Maybe go it's ahead. you do far one. Enough. You do one. Yeah. Maybe that's far enough? 
It, it seems it'll be a little flimsy if I don't. It's really, I mean, seriously. If you're uh, just having the audio version, the entire staff <laughs> are screwing table legs. Okay. I, I think that's far enough. So give me that one, and we'll just okay. put this in. Okay, go ahead. Get, uh, video number two. Okay. No, I, it's gadget number two, and then we'll do another video. Uh, okay. This you probably will like. Oh, no, it's no, from... no tools. No tools. Okay, sorry. Don't just ignore me. I'm just, gonna, okay. I'm just having a little problem here. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Coast is famous for flashlights, lanterns. Uh, at the Hardware Show, they were showing their recently introduced Coast AR, uh, A22R. Mm. And so this is a beautiful stainless steel flashlight. Ooh. It has the flex charge system. This is what the kit looks like. So it looks like they took a solid bar of stainless and built a flashlight. Oh, that's gorgeous. At it's unibody. So now you can charge it via USB, mm. 12 volts or AC. You slide the stainless handle down. There's a USB port. You can charge it via USB. It comes with an extra USB battery. So you can charge the battery, leave one in the flashlight and one out. It runs on a single double A battery. Mm. Um, it has twist focus, so you twist it, you can go anywhere from a narrow beam to flood, and then give it a quarter turn, and it locks in that position. Uh, water eye, uh, a rubberized O-ring for water resistance, 241 lumens, uh, 3 hours and 30 minutes of burn time on a single battery. But on Amazon, I see people are getting uh, up to five hours. Wow. There's a, a high and low switch, and it comes with everything. The adapters for USB, for AC, for the cigarette lighter in your car. comes with a carrying case. It is on the high side. It's on Amazon for 114 bucks. Uh, but it's beautifully made, and it is the Coast H22R. I love that. But that yeah, don't a, the police don't police they carry uh, like the, the the aluminum cast aluminum? But this would be even is it heavy? No, you know what? It weighs five ounces. It feels like it's more than five ounces. It's so beautiful. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of surprised in the specs that it was just five ounces. And then you can slide closed a little USB carrier. Oh, and then in case of an emergency, it can. they even give you an extra regular AA battery. So if the battery goes dead and you forgot to charge the secondary battery, just throw in uh, any ordinary AA battery and you can power the flash like that. That is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So now should we cut back to your table or should I go to my... All done. Look at that. Wow. That isn't that, was, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And he just and it was just it was just that easy. Wow. And you know it came with all that stuff. It came with cables, duct tape, everything wow. you need. I'm afraid. A little afraid. I think we broke Great. the table. <laughs> no, the only thing is I I thought the illustration was a tiny bit misleading. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Jeff, built this yesterday. Help me take it down because this, this thing is heavy. No, this isn't it. Oh, I wish it were. I wish that were the truth. Oh, you caught me in a lie, Dick. But uh, oh, was now, that? Oh, okay. Well, throw now that come over because we started to use a tool and Burke came running over and said, no, no, no. It's a tool free design. So, Burke, come here, Mr. Tool Free Design. Yeah. Show me how you screw a screw without a head in by hand. He's tough. Okay. You know, his dad. Oh. But it's not. <laughs> his dad was a uh, roughneck. A rust. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tool for. I get it. So you don't put it in all the way. You just. But then it helps you screw later. Dick, while we're doing this, maybe you should play video number three. Okay, okay. Let's do video number two from the National Hardware Show, and I'll explain uh, uh, any questions about it. More men. We need more we men. We need more monkeys. So, okay. Jason, let's go back to the Hardware Show while the screwing continues. Okay.
Dickie Bartolo, Mads Medis Driver, and the Gizwiz. We're here at the National Hardware Show 2013. You know, at CES, they had this little massage bot. You lay down, they put it on your back, and he ran around. Didn't do a lot. Well, I have a new bot that does more. It's Grillbot. This is Grillbot right here. And Ethan, the inventor, we're going to call him in. And Ethan, you want to start Grillbot? Sure. Let me start it up for you. You put it on a hot or cold grill. Push the button once for a five-minute clean or twice for a seven-minute clean. There'll be a few-second delay while the computer brain kicks in. It'll run all three of the motors, and that's all you need to do. Oh, I need and that. And why did you invent Grillbot? Because it's such a chore. Uh, because I'm a gadget yes. guy, and I was told it couldn't be done. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to get it done. Okay. And, and now this has a a temperature sensor in it so you can actually put it Switch down on well. a hot grill yes up to 250 degrees on a hot or or cold grill um, and it's got a very powerful lithium battery you'll get about 50 cleans before you have to recharge it for me that's the entire summer of grilling so amazing and so I have two other questions is how much does it cost and when is it available uh, the retail is 99.95 it'll be available in mid-august there you are from the National Hardware Show with Grillbot. And Dennis, I'm going to have you show Grillbot and then just pan up there. You'll see that Grillbot won several awards already, and it's only been around a couple of months. Those awards are going to get a little washed out from the overhead lights, but the fame will live on forever. <laughs> Dickie Bartolo, we're going to find more gadgets. Bye. My wrists, my wrists. That is a very uh, cool, that is a cool gadget. Anyway, yeah, by the way, we've been screwing for like this whole four minutes. Well, yeah, but uh, you know, you know his starting... wrists are in better shape than mine. What do you, what yeah. do you do to keep your wrists like uh, uh, such good really? strength? <laughs> 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 He's a young guy. He yeah. has better wrist strength. Uh, mm -hmm. No, that grill butt is like an eye, is like a Roomba yeah, for your you grill. Know, yeah, it's uh, under 100 bucks. You know, the typical story, the guy was a real estate agent, wanted to invent something, said he spent a fortune in two years to finally get it to market. A fortune? Can you imagine what that yeah. cost yes. to develop? Yeah, it, it's three different motors, three different wire brushes. Uh, you can pre-order it now. Their website is grillbots, with an S dot com, uh, under 100 bucks, And he said they'll be shipping it in August. I worked up a little sweat, Jeff. Is that normal? Yeah. It's no, kind of hard this work. Is, this is looking good. I, I think the fact that the legs are four different heights <laughs> might be a problem. No, no. We just put a matchbook underneath. Oh, okay, okay. I wow. I don't have a grill bot, but I have a uh, wire brush. And when it, either when the grill is still hot, or more most often because I forget and I, I shut the grill down. But then when I fire it up, I get it really hot, and then I and I clean it, and then it's nice and clean. Oh, yeah, but this is even easier. I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know, for one thing, I like to cl clean the grill while it's hot. And well, I think it would melt the grill bot. Well, there's a, there is an alarm in it that tells you if uh -huh. the grill is too hot. Okay. So you put it on, and if the alarm doesn't go off, it'll just run around and clean it. We're ready and for the final turn. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, can you get it? Is, is there an overhead okay. shot of this? this? This is your gadget of the day, right? This is it right now. Here it is. Uh, well, okay, well, all right, let's get, We have a drum roll or something. <laughs> Brrr. Yeah, good. That's nice. <laughs> and so the last turn, and so it gets a little harder as you turn, but then finally, uh, where is it? There, there it is. is. There we go. Here we go. This is, the, this is like it's really hard, but if I get into place, it'll be yeah. really Perfectly Brrr. adjusted. And Whoa, there it is. Hey! Don't go. Yay. Just like in the instructions. Wow. Let's see. Let's just try it here. Oh, it's nice. That's a nice little uh, side table. It's not, well, it's no frills. You know, it doesn't have any pads or anything. What? There's more? Not only is it a side table. There's a reason we like this. There's, it's more than just a side table, but it also is exactly, look at this, five U size or four U size. We're just going to screw our stuff right in there, and it's an equipment rack. That is That's How did awesome. you know that? How did you know that? That it would do that, guys? That's why we Did you look at the measurements? It's called a whack rack. It's a whack rack? Whack rack. Whack? Oh, they call it a rack. Well, no, IKEA doesn't. But others do. The internet does. It's a thing on the internet. It's on P-Interest. Yes, sir. You can buy oh, that's great. 
Well, you know, Leo, why don't you find out if Ikea has an equipment rack and then you could use that as a table? <laughs> Good idea. Good thinking, Nick. Look at that. I could just, you know, use uh, some drywall screws or something. And there it is, the lack rack hack. That is phenomenal. Uh, isn't that awesome? And you still can use it as a table. And that's why we bought it. And, and that's it why we bought it, says see, right? uh, cocky Jeff Needles. <laughs> Wow. That's why we bought it. We knew exactly what it would do. And how much is it? How much was that? Ten, five, ten, what? Fifteen, 15 bucks. Fifth, how much, that, that how much would a rack be like that? A lot. Hundred fifty, two hundred dollars yep. That's awesome. I'm getting one for sure. So Love your it. stereo gear, I mean, I don't think people have Ethernet wiring like that, but uh, in their house, but you could use it. Did you know this, Russell? Did Probably Russell told you. He says, yeah, that's probably a bad idea. Well, it is, it's particle board. It's not the most, you know, I mean, I wouldn't. If you could get six of them on top of each other, then you would have. You'd have a circus act. <laughs> this is, this is kind of cool. I like this. I like that. That is good. So people who have uh, headphone distribution amps in their house. Servers. 12-port switches. Anything mm -hmm. that would fit into a uh, a U rack, right there, like that. It's a poor man's rack mount. Uh, and it's called the IKEA LAC. It's the LAC, L A C K. And if you okay. Google LAC rack hack, you'll find oh, instructions and lots of videos and so forth. Wow, Look okay. at somebody's really done quite a. That's probably more than you should put on those particle board legs. But there you go. <laughs> that is amazing. He's got a nice. three com switch. Nice. Fifteen bucks is like a yeah. Mate. Well, you know this is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, you win. <laughs> Jeff Needles, nice <laughs> job. You You're right. And now, because I built it myself, I have a deep, passionate love for this lac rack. In fact, I might be taking it home later tonight. See, yeah. it works. I would take it, I would take it dinner? to dinner and a movie first. Yeah, maybe we'll go see that uh, new Gatsby movie. I think you'll enjoy <laughs> it. You'll be seeing me sitting in the theater with a little table next to me in my seat. <laughs> in your lap. My lac rack. In your lap, Yeah. <laughs> Sir, please take that table off your lap. I can't right now. We'll go to the great Laxby. Take It'll the lack off your lap. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is, uh, that's is—that's pretty cool. You probably would yeah. do it like this with the thing mounted in there like that. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that neat? That's pretty. That that's, beats everything you ever got from Skyward. I know. This is like best thing ever. Hmm? Because I built it myself. And I followed these very detailed instructions. <laughs> That's what gets me. They call these instructions. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'm going to show you the up desk next week because I built that myself. But first, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to take a little walking tour of the beautiful Isle of Manhattan. Get your hush puppies on something nice and comfortable, maybe some Uggs boots for the ladies. You might want to wear some, some leggings and a short sleeve shirt because it's going to be sunny. Get your straw hat, your nose, uh, you know, sunburn protection, your, your, your little bit of zinc oxide there, some funny sunglasses. Get a small dog under your arm because everybody's doing it in Manhattan. And ladies and gentlemen, we're headed to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Mm. I was just thinking, Dick, they should have a Google Translator for IKEA instructions. Yeah. That's what we need. Yeah, you know, that is the pencil box. That goes on top of the table. <laughs> that's the pencil box. This right, is what yeah. I bought it for. Forget that. We'll throw that out. Yeah, no, that's a piece of crap. This is what this I is wanted. Good. Yeah. yeah, that's the iPod holder. So it's Dick goes to... <laughs> it's an iPod holder. It is. Right. It's perfect. Go right by my bed, right there. Yeah, there Dick, you go. Uh, there Dick you go. goes to his gadget warehouse where he has stored for many, many years old gadgets that are no longer useful, but still he just can't bring himself to throw out. What do you well, got? Well, actually, Leo, I, I, we have another viewer video, and this is kind of fun because the guy does an unboxing of a gadget that he doesn't know what it is. And when he's done, we're not quite sure what it is. <laughs> I Googled it. I couldn't find it. I and couldn't I figure. Either. Hopefully, maybe someone in the chat room will have had one of these. 
or know someone who had one of these. But in the meantime, I'll, I'll just read you uh, the letter that uh, precedes the Gadget Warehouse. All right. Um, Dick and Leo, my friend goes to a lot of estate sales and auctions, came across this, and he sent it to me. It's the Sharper Image Audio EX SM701. I thought it was brand new, but it's used. This is a video of me unboxing it. <laughs> Jim Nichols, Grand Rapids, Michigan. See if you can figure out what it does. Hello, Dick and Leo. I'm doing an unboxing of a product that I really don't know what it is. A friend of mine does estate auction sales. He goes to quite a few of them. This is something he picked up and just sent it to me. Haven't opened it yet. It's from the Sharper Image. It is called the Audio EX model number SM701. And just from reading the box, it appears it is for like one of those listening aids so you can hear people across the room. So let's see what we have. This is way before wireless because it shows tons of wires. a little wiry. But earphones, accessory microphones, microphone extension cord, a microphone holder, even the airplane adapter. I don't think airplanes even have those anymore. I'm not sure. And an extract from the Sharper Image, Emeryville, California, made in China. Hmm. The prices faded out so no clue how much it was i was looking online i could not find anything maybe someone else has a better source <laughs> someone says it lets like you hear dead people <laughs> oh someone wrote on here so maybe it wasn't completely unused but kind of sounds like colin speaking it says see page 11 it does come that must be where the english instructions well now we know what he's up here. to You know, a little bit of wire. Headphones. Well, the phone's a little deteriorated. Uh, this looks 80s style, so I'm guessing this product is from somewhere in the mid 80s, late 80s. Someone in the chat room says it's on eBay for $21, yeah. but does it say what it does? No clue. <laughs> you mean we don't know? It's metal with a stand. I, I, you know, with all that wire, Here are I, I'm buds, thinking maybe you put the microphone. The extension cable. On top of the TV? No. No, and then run the cable the to your headset? For, More like, deaf cables. people? Uh, Velcro to stick it to wherever. Velcro. That You're right. You might you might be right, Dick. Velcro. the actual device. Now that I look at it, it, it has been used. It's not... Yeah, you know, I think the, that might be an amplifier... Button. Two AA batteries it uses. I mean, it can't be a spy device because Andy there's 900 feet of wire. Volume control. Registration card. That's about it. I really don't know much about it. Someone <laughs> in the chat room says they think it's an FM transmitter. That's all it is. It mm. extends your hearing in conversation and meetings. There it is. TV. It's just a First hearing aid. Any situation. It's a With hearing audio aid. EX's oh, okay. Integrated circuitry and your choice of microphones. You hear what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. just turn off the mic and you never have to hear anything You never else. hear again. And uh -huh. the choice of microphones. I, I, I don't quite. It's for, so it's, you think it had like two different microphones? Yeah, it's a uh, hearing aid. Yeah. But with a... With a <sighs> A hearing aid with, yeah. Well, you know what, uh, you know, as Henny Youngman once said, he said uh, he couldn't afford a hearing aid for his wife, so he just hangs a piece of wire on her ear, and people <laughs> see it and they talk louder. So. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they were selling something similar at uh, Amazon. It's from, it's the digital hearing enhancer. Digital is the key. That's what makes it worth so much more. Did you, oh, did you get that link, uh, uh, Jason? I just you, did, yeah. Let yeah. me uh, show that. Let's up see here. it. Uh, or the Sharper Image Audio EX listening amplifier on eBay. Yes, this is different, but that's the this idea. Is, yeah, okay. And it's oh, a this radio. looks like this one was probably when they made a wireless version, yeah, right? Yeah, they finally got that wireless. That other one just yeah. had everything that is, had a hundred foot piece of cable with it. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, we want to thank, I forgot who sent me that. Um, but you win, you'll get a piece of crap. You know, we're doing something new now. 
cleaning out Leo's warehouse. It's Jim Nichols. So, Jim, I you're going to get a... actually sending this stuff yeah, out. You know, Jeff is okay. actually He's um, doing working that? with Jeff on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At least on the very first giveaway. But then I was out. It's so pretty I don't know who gave that what. Leo will just say something and then <laughs> assume that somebody else is doing it. So. But now uh, that I've built my own IKEA furniture, I'm going to be more oh, hands-on. Yeah. Well, you know, you're not sending out the table, right? The table is not going no, to. No, that's ours to keep. That's okay. But uh, if anybody has any IKEA furniture they want me to build for them, I would be glad to help out. Oh yeah, uh, but you're a pro now. I oh, you, you saw how how easily oh, I did that. You did it in like 35 minutes, and it's flat and it fits. <sighs> uh, I'm everybody's impressed. Uh, that was from Jim Nichols, Grand Rapids. Jim, we're going to get you a piece of crap. Jeff will get you a piece of crap. Um, we're looking for more Boy, that's, videos. That, that's such an enticing, come on. How could you resist? <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to be on the Giz Whiz. So if you, have a, if you have a piece of crap gadget, if you bought a piece of crap, invented something, or just want to tell us about your favorite gadget, make a two- to three-minute video, put it on YouTube, and send the link to gizwiz at twit.tv. Jason and I will look at them. And hopefully very soon, your inspiring video will be on the gizwiz. And again, you've seen our videos, so don't worry about quality, production value, sound, having someone decent in it. We're up for anything. Uh, gizwiz at twit.tv. TV. Hey, our show today brought to you by our good friends at Audible.com. You know, the audio bookstore with 100,000 titles, wonderful titles. Uh, if you've never listened to an audio book, you ought to try because you listen to a podcast, right? You enjoy the Giz Whiz. That means your ears are primed. They're ready to listen to something like Dan Brown's new novel, the guy who did uh, uh, the, the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons has a new one just came out called Inferno, book four of the uh, series, and uh, I'm thinking, you know, this goes right along. This is, if you've read The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, The Lost Symbol, this would be the next one. Now, if you haven't read those, you could also get those, but here's the deal. You can get one of them for free right now. I love listening to audiobooks. It's a great way uh, to, to, there you go, there it is. It's a great way to, uh, to spend time reading when you couldn't normally hold a book. In the car, during your commute, at the gym. He had a shaggy beard, bushy mustache, and gentle eyes. It's the eyes same narrator that did Da Vinci Code, right? Paul Michael's great. Oh, nice. He's so good. Now, you see, regular price, $42. I can get it for you for nothing. Absolutely free. If you go to audible.com slash gizwiz, it doesn't have to be this book. It, it, you're going to sign up for the gold account. That's the book a month. So more properly, more strictly speaking, a credit a month. But since 99% of the books on Audible are single credits, it's only the super, super, super long ones that aren't. Ah, oh, The Great Gatsby. Read it before you go see that movie. That's a good idea. This is the actual... Nice. Jake Gyllenhaal narrates the actual text from the F. Mm. Scott Fitzgerald novel. And Audible titles are, for the most part, uh, uh, unabridged. This is unabridged, which is nice. You're going to get every word. It's as if you're reading the book. But you're doing it in the downtime, you know, when you're walking the dog, doing the dishes, the housework. I actually put Audible on my stereo and have it going throughout the house. Yesterday, I did a ton of laundry. It, it takes the sting out of doing chores. I'm listening to my wonderful book, enjoying life. Uh, you're going to love it. Try it free. Audible.com slash gizwiz. Your first book is free. You can play it back on pretty much anything. I listen on my Sonos devices, my smartphones. I have an Android uh, and uh, an iPhone and a Windows phone with the Audible software. It's just fabulous. Audible.com slash Gizwiz. Try it free today. Uh, Dickie Z, I think yes, it would sir. be a good time to say hello to the letters jingle. I love that table. I raised it from a little stick of wood. <laughs> yeah, the table's unharmed. You cannot harm a table of that quality, trust me. Really? You know, when you say something like that, 
Just don't put a. You think I can stand on it? <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's 15 bucks. How many people do you think we could get on it? Like that seat, we could get all 10 employees on that thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know me. Yeah, I know. Well, wait a minute. Do you have something to hang on to overhead? <laughs> yeah, I need, a, I need a special bar yeah. <laughs> in case it collapses. <laughs> yeah, I, I think given that I'm not done with the shows for the day, maybe I... Yeah, Why okay. aren't they getting a camera ready? <laughs> what, yeah, you guys know. want me to die. You know, have Jeff call Ikea and say, I know you're not supposed to stand on that table, but what is the weight limit? Oh, that's what this means. What's the max weight? I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let Jeff get on it as a start. Yeah, Jeff, you do it. No, no, I, I, I'm not going to get on the lack. We're going to let no. the lack live. Look at this. They're starting to take pictures now. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready for this. This is going straight to Instagram. Another 300 people just joined the chat room. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. Jeff says, yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, great. In a, Jeff, in a blatant attempt player. to take over the rest of this business. Jeff, he signs the checks. Mm, I know what I'll oh. do. I'll get on my knees first. Okay. See if it holds it then. Okay, okay. Okay. It feels solid. Okay. Doesn't you know, actually, it's pretty solid. I think I can stand on it. I don't want to break a hip. Here comes Lisa. She says, no. Get down. Tiptoe through the tulips, oh through oh the garden. God. That is where I'll be. The lack table can hold all of me. Hutch, uh, what? Because I can't have what? hip bones. What? I've just a... been informed that the weight that it's... Put, what? The maximum weight is 55 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, Leo, there's always a little margin of safety in there. And Jeff is fired. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping jacks? No, I'm not doing no, jumping jacks on this. Are you crazy? Yeah. Remember the last time I got up on the table? I broke it. Yeah. You know, I think it's 55 pounds per leg. That's so it. Do 20. Each leg. No, it seems, you know, I'm not standing on the edge. You're standing in the middle. I'm standing yeah. right in the middle of this thing. Now, I haven't jumped up and down or anything. I think you, you know, should. You know, Jeff, what concerns me is I weigh 56 pounds. <laughs> All right. Now, um, let's just... Let's get the staff there to help you. Okay, one. Oh, oh what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Yo, that's the backflip onto your feet. Ladies okay, and gentlemen, ready? one, two, three. Ready? Camera. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, Oops. yeah. Wow, if you listen to the audio version, Leo got on the table. Oh, my gosh. I was at full 360. And landed right on the floor and is not breathing heavy. Next week, we're going to put two tables, one on top of the other, and Leah will do the same thing. <laughs> All right. Do you have a, uh, a letter? All right, we're getting I a letter from our insurance company saying, under no circumstances will we insure anybody standing on furniture ever again. Yes. From Erica Birkenhoff, who sent us a great link, but I'll just give you the one sentence that describes the video link. This is the future, mm. according to a 1967 <laughs> expectations presented by Walter Cronkite, showing what the home office would be. Oh, I've seen this. Yes. In 2001. So this is even, this is, we're, we're well beyond this now. Yes, we're well beyond it. Most of his time in the home of the 21st century. <laughs> this equipment here will allow him to carry on normal business activities without ever going Someday to an office away from Someday people will be able home. to build their own furniture with their own provides hands. provides a summary of news relayed by satellite from all over the uh, world. Good morning, no Mr. Pictures. No color. <laughs> now, to get a newspaper copy for permanent reference... Oh, I yes, we need permanent reference. As print. Turn the print knob. <laughs> so you know there's a technician in the table. Yeah, feeding it through. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's a union <laughs> job. Uh, check the latest weather. Oh, there we have it right there. Every computer, you need a separate computer for weather. <laughs> this same screen can give me the latest report on the stocks I might own. Well, there wow. we go. Wow. 
A telephone is, is this table? instrument here. That's the telephone. Mark up of a possible future telephone. <laughs> what this is this white dot? Now, yes. if I want to see the people I'm talking well, with, know, I Walter. just turn the button and there they are. There you can only talk to that particular man. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> screen, I can keep in touch with other rooms of the house through a closed-circuit <laughs> television system. By Philco. Right. And all you can see is a still of like the other this, In the home of the future, we may not have to go to work. The work would come to us. Wouldn't that be good? In the 21st century, it may be that no home will be complete without a computerized communications console. <laughs> And the table from... And by the way, I as always with YouTube, it offered me a fine successor video to that involving a young lady whose skirt apparently is flying up above her head. <laughs> Look at that, Jason. No, every I see, time I see. on YouTube. Every time. <laughs> it's like, what the hell, YouTube? I'm watching Walter Cronkite. You want to give me cheesecake? <laughs> I hate YouTube. By the way, what we just did, it'll get the show pulled. That's okay, because I don't care anymore. Go ahead. Pull it, YouTube. Pull it. Pull my finger, YouTube. Go ahead. But don't touch my table. <laughs> I love my table. We're going on a date later. Just yeah. me and my table. If you see me walking down the street with my table, yeah. you'll know why. That table's got a great pair of legs. <laughs> this is particle board. This is like, this thing, This it weighs three three ounces. Yeah. It's, the particle board is very, in my head. very sturdy, as long as you don't get it wet. <laughs> That's why you don't stand on it. Yes. That's why you don't stand on it, exactly. Hey, we have another sponsor. This is kind of, whoa, whoa. This is a, <laughs> this is a first for, uh, for the Gizwiz. I mean, before, I just got to check my posture. Hold on a second. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> da, da. Da, da, Apparently my head da, is not da, flat da. enough. Da, da, forehead? Da. Burke, what are you smoking? Put, put the legs down. Make it easy on your Forehead? Yeah. Come here. Come here, Burke. You show me. <laughs> oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. Ah, right. It's a Dick Tracy character called Table Face. <laughs> Table Face. All right. Okay. Okay. Dick, you know who we're brought to you by today? Besides Audible, Tonks Coffee. Do you know what Tonks is? No. Do you like do you drink, you like coffee, right? Oh my gosh, what are you kidding? All right, you got to tell Dennis about this cuz you will never never do your own coffee thing again after this. This is awesome. It's fresh roasted, shipped directly to you. It's t o n x.org. Okay. Tonks.org. And actually, we have a special page, which I'll tell you about in a second. Well, I'll tell you about it now. Tonks.org slash gizwiz, where we're going to give you a special deal. So the idea is these guys uh, are coffee wizards. And for years, they've been picking coffee, roasting it themselves, and so forth. And they realized that there might be a market for somebody who loves coffee to get coffee shipped to them on a bi-weekly basis the best beans, perfectly roasted. And, and by the way, they put a date right on the package so you know exactly when it's roasted. It takes about three days from roaster to you. That's, it, it, it is the perfect amount of time. You never want to have coffee right out of the roaster. You want to wait exactly 72 hours. It is fabulous. It's beans. You grind it yourself because you got to have fresh beans, fresh ground. The bi-weekly subscription gives you different beans at different times. So you get to try different stuff. I'm doing a pea berry from, uh, I think it's New Zealand, that is the best mm -hmm. coffee I've ever had. It blows me uh -huh. away. Am I not right, Lisa? I was just blown away. This uh -huh. is such a great product. If you, and by the way, if you spend, if you go to a cafe every morning, you buy a latte, uh, you know, you go to Starbucks, this is cheaper than that. Make your own coffee. They will give you help on their webpage in choosing the right uh, grinder, the right brewing methods. Frankly, you know the, the AeroPress is probably the best way to do it. Get a little hand burr grinder, an AeroPress, and you're going to be making yourself the best cup of coffee you have ever had. And it's different beans each time, so you have a real chance to try different varietals. They have two different ways of doing it. Now, I would encourage you to do the free trial. Uh, you could start right up with that. If you go to tonks, T-O-N-X.org slash gizwiz, 
uh, you can start the free trial right away. Now, I'm doing, by the way, of course, the $19 uh, deal, which is 12-ounce bag every other week. There is a, you can get an, a 6-ounce bag every other week. Um, I just, I, and the 12-ounce bag, $19, $12 for the 6-ounce bag. I think this is a wonderful way to go. You're going to love the coffee. You're going you're gonna to just fall back in love with coffee. Go to tonx.org slash gizwiz. Uh, I immediately subscribed when I found Tonks. I immediately subscribed. It is the best coffee you have ever had. Tonks, tonx.org slash gizwiz. I'm using it as a way to discover new uh, varieties of coffee. It's really fun. Highly recommend nice. it. You, people perhaps noticed, they were even saying in the chat room, chat room, verify this, that when I came in today, I was peppy, I was vigorous, I was in a good mood. You know why? Tonks. 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 Someone in the chat room said they got the uh, free uh, sample and are on their second cup already. And I believe he said oh. he's ordering it. As Good. Yeah. Follow Tonks on Twitter. You'll see the uh, response to Tonks. People who, who like it. Um, many of my uh, friends, in, you know, coffee geek types, are big fans of Tonks. Um, just fabulous. Uh, Merlin Mann, Tonks fan. Uh, just try it. Mother's Day. Wouldn't that be a great Mother's Day gift? It's a little late. I know it was a couple of days ago, but Father's Day. Oh, June Father's Day. Father's up. Day. Yeah. yeah. I think get one for mom, get one for dad. Yeah. Do it. Tonks for the memory. Tonks for the coffee. The brewed it up real good. The taste, the neighborhood. They all if came you over had a to little try. table to put your coffee My in. My Tonks coffee good. now buy. Tonks.org slash gizwiz. It's really good. Really good. I, I couldn't have built this table without Tonks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I really enjoy it. Uh, so next, uh, next week, I'm going to show you what I ordered. Oh, yeah. And I don't have your laptop feed. It's not coming through. <laughs> okay, well, uh, <clears throat> maybe I'll have you order it then. Let's see. Zoomies, Z-O-B-U-Y, Zoomies, Z-O-O-M-I-E-S.com. Can you see that? I will get can it. Can you see that? Actually, do it on my site. Cause I, can you pick up my uh, video? I'm not getting it, no. Gosh darn it. Gosh diggly dang it. Where does this go to? Does this wire do ah, anything? I got something. Some, whatever you've just did. <laughs> now it went away. <laughs> this Look at that wire. Look at this wire. Does it do anything? It was there for a it second. It was there for a moment. Away. How about now? Uh, waiting. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. No. Uh, by the way, YouTube has already site. pulled this episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on Up to this point. They're waiting for us to finish. <laughs> oh, I got it. Got it. Okay. 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 Just went away. okay. It went away? Yeah. It, okay. I had it that it went <laughs> How about now? <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, right now? Uh, TV. How, how, is it good? Nope, nope. It's not. Nope. nope, 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 nope. nope. All right, go to buyzoomies.com. Here, here's what I have That's it. on my computer. $10 by one set. Let, you know what? Let's go through this because I, I want to get these right now for next week. You get two pairs of zoomings, two hanging lanyards, two carrying cases for $10 plus P and H. I don't know what P is. Right. Click processing okay click order Postage now handling, let's right? order these because i think this is a great deal oh crap well you got to fill this in because and do fill it in because after you fill it in it then you go through 20 more pages of stuff well you got two now you get three for an extra five dollars maybe you like four they, you, they never let you go it, i had to click 12 times to get them but i've ordered the zoomies that's why i wanted to show this oh, i wanted to go through the process i am so excited so those zoomies will be here we'll this be able to zoom in 300 percent anytime at home or away as seen on tv wow so i will i'm i've i've actually I have them i ordered them ahead of time because you know my experiences with the sky mall yeah yeah hand yeah. you could follow the action hands free oh, forget and they google look glasses great yeah. too Forget very Google techie. Glasses. These are better. 300% zoom. Wow. Great for sewing and crafts. Wow. Look at, look at. She can thread that needle. Sure, like it's a one foot high needle. Thread going through a needle. <laughs> She's putting a rope through that needle. That's how powerful they are. You know, are. you got to give them credit. They, they, at no, at no point in this do they lie about how ugly they are. They show you what they look like. They're not hiding anything. It works just like binoculars. Wow. All right. <laughs> I will uh, I will have my zoomies next week. 
Dick, what a thrill, what a pleasure, what, what a joy it has been to do this show this week with you. And that's yeah. thanks in part to Tonks Coffee, the fabulous coffee brand that gave Leo his buzz this morning. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And don't forget to play the what the heck is it Ooh, while, you're on your is. High, while you're on your high buzz. Yeah. No, because I can. that's a toilet seat. That's a flashlight. You know what, what, I think one time oh, I'm going to do an that? Ikea thing knock down and see if people can guess. <laughs> you should. Yeah, that's a good Here's one. Here's a flat pack. What's inside? Yes, exactly. That's a great idea because you could never tell. No. No. That I mean, is what Jeff was wearing on his wrist the other day. Uh, I'm not saying nothing. Yep, it's a it's a code. You wear it in your left wrist, it means one thing. Okay. You wear it in your right wrist, it means another thing. Okay. It's a that in the colloquial uh, they call it a chick magnet. It's an actual could magnet be. for chicks. It could be. Yeah, I know what yeah. it is. Ah. <laughs> Dick, thank you so much. Gizwiz.biz, that's the website. Go there for all his show notes. You saw the giant toilet seats there. Yeah, thanks for the, the construction lesson. Look at that. And I'm going to come over. Anything you want me to build, you just let me know. Oh, yeah, no. As long as I, you provide the No, tonks. you got a new merit badge, pal. Your mother's going to be so proud of you. <laughs> and I love my new lack table. Yeah. Thanks, I Dick. See we'll see you next time. I'll be here. Okay.